Hello, people of YouTube! My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Yashahime Princess Half Demon Season 2, Episode 14. And holy moly, cannoli, this was one heck of an episode. A lot going on. My only complaint, I would say, throughout this entire episode is there's so much going on, and everything is happening so fast again, like it did in Season 1. Are they going to wrap everything up in the next couple of episodes and then we are going to be left with, you know, eight episodes of filler at the end, which a lot of us I don't think would want. Uh, another complaint also is we're probably not going to get a season three. Everything seems to be like it's slowly getting wrapped up in a tight little bow and this is probably going to be all she wrote. Um, the popularity, unfortunately, seems like it has been wavering. Um, if you go to, the, you know, the uh, anime Reddit, go to the episode, there's very few comments on this episode. You go to the Yashahime subreddit, there's really not a whole lot of activity going on. I think there's only really like five or 6,000 members at this point in time. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know how the popularity is in Japan. I know the popularity always skyrockets the second Inuyasha and Kaigome show up, which, spoiler alert, they did in this episode, if you've already seen it. <coughs> But the thing is that it's just not, the, I don't think it's there. I don't think it's just there enough. I don't think it's popular enough where everybody's going to want to just, you know, stick around and they have enough material for a season three. Could they do a season three with Inuyasha and Kaigome? They could bring back Inuyasha if they really wanted to and just have the girls in it. Uh, that's another possibility, depending on the popularity of it. But uh, let's just kind of get into the episode. So uh, we start with Kieran Maru and... Uh, Mora, and he has just stolen the black pearl from her, and she's like, give it back. Um, he m mentions Akira, the uh, t little pinwheel time machine spirit, and uh, she does not want to appease him. She's like, no, I'm not going to hunt down this spirit for you. I'm going to fight you. We're dueling right now, and you are going to give me back that black pearl so I can go see my parents. So they're fighting, and um, it's kind of just like sad to a certain extent. Mora is basically useless against him. Um, he's attacking, giving it her all, becomes Binuyasha, and uh, really nothing that she's doing is working uh, whatsoever. Um, every single attack just seems to kind of bounce off of him. Nothing really is happening. Um, and then Shishomaru <laughs> shows up, comes out of the Tree of Ages to fight him. Uh, but we'll get into that momentarily. So meanwhile, we have Rion, Riku, uh, <clears throat> um, Toa, and Setsuna. Uh, they are all, you know, kind of standing around. Zero just died. Riku's pretty sad. And, uh, you know, Rion's like, you guys should go see your mother, Rin. And they're like, yes, okay, you know, let's jump on Kira, fly away. Um, and then Rion and Riku have kind of a conversation. And uh, Rion's like, I'm going to kill can recur in Maru myself if I need to. Like, I don't want him to destroy all of the things I love, all of the people that I love, uh, by, you know, trying to go to this time machine and uh, not happening. We're, we're not dealing with that. We're not doing that. Uh, we are going to stop him. Um, Riku, if you, know it, if you know what this means, I'm sorry. And Riku was, like, fine with it. He was like, you know what? I f got to f fell in love. I now no longer have any regrets. Uh, I'm probably going to plant this apple seed. I got to taste this, you know, wonderful fruit from Toa. I got to fall in love with Toa. And if I die as a process of Kinmaru dying, well, so be it. So he is willing to lay down his life uh, to get rid of Kirinmaru. And that's where we are. You know, we're, we're fighting. We're in the middle of fighting Kirinmaru. So after that, Shoshomaru shows up, tells Rin and Jakin to stay in the Tree of Ages no matter what they hear. Uh, of course, they don't listen, whoever listens. Um, and he's off, and he was like, you know what? You ought to, you know, be the most powerful, so why not fight the most powerful? So him and Karen Maru start going at it. Uh, they start duking it out. And uh, he then, during the middle of the fight, um, because Mora it is Mora, she's like, you know what? No, I'm going to help him out. We're, we're getting rid of him right now. I'm sick of this crap. Um, she shoots an arrow at him, and then Toa goes, uh, you know, attacking so, uh, yeah, Setsuna goes attacking, and it's just like a three-part attack. He gets beat up a little bit. He gets really, really angry, releases this attack that he released against the great dog demon over 500 years ago, and Shishomaru stops it without any weapons, 
but he ends up getting knocked down falling out of the sky um whatever the attack is it may not be super powerful well it is probably super powerful but um, it may not you know could not have caused a lot of physical damage but it might suck all of the demon energy out of you wearing you out and knocks him to the ground and Kirin Muru was already like well if you're not going to show up I'm already claiming my victory against you uh goodbye and he just kind of flies off into the distance well he's the or either that or you know Shishomaru is down for the count maybe Shishomaru might die we don't really know uh there's a lot going on <laughs> in this episode so he's on the ground suffering Ren and Jakeen come out um, they are going to go try to, you know, comfort him, whatever, if it's his last moments, things along those lines. Uh, unfortunately, Toa and Setsuna do not go get to see their mother. So that does not happen this episode. However, Shishomaru does suck all three girls into the Black Pearl. So, um, I think he, I don't know why, what the reason is behind doing that. Maybe he doesn't think that the three of them combined can defeat him at this point in time still. So by sucking them into the Black Pearl, that way, you know, Mora gets to reunite with her parents, um, you know, Setsuna and Toa get to see their aunt and uncle and uh, happily ever after for like five seconds. So that's actually what, <laughs> what happened. It's actually a really funny interaction with Kaigome. Um, her and Inuyasha see this little star in the great dog demon's grave flying down and like, what is that? Let's go investigate it. And uh, Kaigome ends up finding them first, sees all three of them, and then she looks at Mora and she's kind of suspicious because she thinks it's a trick or trap, which, you know, there's a lot of tricks and traps in this anime, so um, it doesn't surprise me that she's kind of cautious. And then she runs up to her, they have a great little heartfelt moment, they hug it out, you know, kind of like a happily ever after, finally seeing her mother after all these years, they're both crying, you know, there's this great beautiful scene, everything's glowing and pretty and beautiful. Um, and all three of the girls are crying because, you know, they get to see Mora finally reunited with her mother. And then here comes Inuyasha around the corner. Uh, and it looks like they're going to have an interesting interaction based on the preview for next episode. And that's pretty much where we're ending it. So we have the three girls sucked into the Black Pearl. Uh, Shishomaru is down for the count at the moment. He's knocked out. Something bad is happening to him. Uh, Rin <laughs> and Jakeen are just kind of there uh, flo floating around. Um, we meet Kagome and Inuyasha. We finally get that happening. And as I said, just a crap ton of crap <laughs> going on. There's so much going on in this episode uh, that it makes me scared for the rest of the season. Um, this one, I am going to give this one a 10 out of 10. This was a beautiful episode. Excellent fighting. Excellent reunion. Uh, the pacing may, might have been a little bit quick, but uh, it, nothing that really throws you off. Every, everything was where it should be. Uh, everything happened how it should have. And uh, it was just a great episode overall, no complaints. So, going into the future, um, next episode we're going to interact with Inuyasha. Karin Maru, we're going to have a fight with him again. Um, I don't know what's going on with Shishomaru. Um, he may or may not end up dead. Possibility. Um... But uh, who knows? Um, Toa and Setsuna still need to meet Rin. They have yet to meet Rin. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're checking off all the boxes. Pretty much the only thing, the only two check marks that we have are we need to meet Rin. You know, we need to have like a formal introduction to Rin, have Toa and Setsuna meet their mother, get the whole family together. Uh, and then we also need to kill Karen Muro. And then that's all she wrote. That's going to be the end of the show. Probably not going to get a season three. Um, the only way I could see there being a season three is if maybe they want to do like a little movie or something uh, with some sort of crazy demon going on, depending on how long um, this particular arc is going to drag out. My guess is maximum this is going to be over within five episodes. And then the problem with that is we're still going to have five episodes left. So that's my major concern is what are we going to do with the extra time? Because it seems like everything is kind of in a line right now to get wrapped up. Um, unless it's going to be like some sort of battle of the armies or something. And Karin Maru is going to get a bunch of demons on his side to fight all of them. Because at this point it's like, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six against one. Uh, possibly more, <laughs> but we got the bounty, you know, we got the bounty hunters, this demon slayer still, they could join the fight, that's like another five, uh, so it, it, the odds are not in his favor right now, let's, let's put it that way, um, what they're going to, I don't know if he's going to be able to get a hold of the time stone, you know, the little, little pinwheel kids, Aku, his little spirit, but, uh, who knows, we'll just have to, 
wait and see because if that happens then that's going to cause even bigger problems um so who maybe he's going to threaten to kill ren i could see that happening he's not you know opposed to using hostages um or maybe he threatens to kill you know kagome you know just a couple of the weaker characters uh, things along those lines. We'll just have to wait and see and find out. Let me know your thoughts down below. As I said, great episode overall. While you're down there for new, subscribe, notification bell, like, tell me what you want to see for future cartoon and anime related videos. I'm thinking about doing a Lego channel. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, just because the guitar channel and this channel, while I like doing the videos at the same time, I'm not getting the views and the subscribers that I want. I've been doing it for a while now. So uh, maybe it's time to try something else. Let me know if you would be interested in that as well in the comments down below. I have a wide variety of random different interests. So uh, comment down below. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.